This hello, my name is Ethan, and this is episode four of the placements for Team Fight Tactics ranked at North America. Uh, we're currently we've won two games and lost one, and by that I mean t this like top placing in the game, etc. Like top four is a win, top, bottom four is a loss. So last game we finished six. Spoiler alert: we did uh, pirates, gunslingers, but I. Um, I had some issues with a lot of people going pirates and gunslingers, and then I got absolutely fucked by RNG on a round where my curse blade honestly didn't proc a single time on the important people um, through like 10, 20 autos, and it's kind of insane. So this game, I decided uh, already that we, because of looking at the changes to Elise and how no one's looking at Elise, I think it's a niche that I can abuse right now. Um, pirates, everyone's going because they're so fun, because they're so interactive, and uh, the free extra gold feels absolutely amazing. But uh, something people aren't doing is shapeshifter, and so, or at least well. So if you grab shapeshifters, I think it gives you uh, a very strong start that scales into like wild shapeshifter. So you may ask, why wild shapeshifter? Um, they buffed wild in the recent patch as well, and I haven't really been seeing many people go wild because wild was really bad before. So, uh, wild buffs up the attack speed of your whole team. The problem with, uh, shapeshifters is getting their, uh, transformation so that, so that they can actually do things. Uh, like Swain wants to ulti, um, Shavana wants to go into dragon form and do massive damage. Uh, Nara wants to go off and, and, you know, knock the opponent into the wall. Um, and so you're going to want to, to get attack speed with these. And it turns out that Nilly is already a wild shapeshifter off the bat. So you've already got a head start on trying to go wild shapeshifter. Uh, we'll, we'll dump the, no that guy. It's fine. Um, so we can put in... The Nid here, just have three ranged, it should be fine, even though I believe this is more powerful. Because it's two gunslingers. Protect the van, fuck it. Doesn't matter, it's early rounds. It's just techn technically, I think the gunslinger synergy is worth more than no synergy here. Which is why I gave up the Mord, because I didn't have any Knight Synergy or anything. So you can use the money for the round. Okay. So yeah, we did in fact get at least two. Triss two. And we got... Lucian for this Gunslinger effect instead. Um, We can toss out Shen for these two. But in most cases, these are the ones we sell on the right. The left is what we're actually holding on to. And then out of those items, we can get like a locket and a Luden's Echo and a Frozen Heart. And I don't want any of that. So I'm not making it. This is a great team. Look at that Elise. So Elise actually gets life seal in her spider form and uh i think elise is like super busted if you stack items on her but uh you just have to give her the red support and i think this is going to be the game to do it uh you don't put any spell damage buffs on her you'd give her mana attack speed life like damage rapid fire to give her maybe range in her spider form um so we actually got the nidalee 2 as well now so the nidalee 2 is better than the gunslinger um Wow, it's just really looking like... This is what I was saying, guys. Every game, I'm getting offered a billion shapeshifters. This was literally every single game. I'm getting offered a billion shapeshifters, and no one seems to be doing anything about it. So, it seems very free. Free wins right now. Maybe it's the rank I'm at. I don't know what's going on. But everyone's small brain and wild and shapeshifter are left open. So, I'm going to be keep... I'll keep grabbing them. This guy's got a shapeshifter just as I said it. Fuck! I'm going to beat him. Easy game. Easiest game of my life. Dude. You even trying? 
Look at that life steal. Look at that healing. Nidalee and Elise is gross. So they fixed Nidalee's ulti so it actually heals the lowest percent HP and not just lowest amount of HP. Um, they fixed Elise so she costs the right amount. One gold instead of two. Uh, um, yeah. Hmm. Switched out those. More synergy. I mean, better unit. Better just overall power of unit. And uh, I can sell the Shen for eco here. Um, I could give Locket. It is Locket, right? Yeah, it's Locket. My beefy ass at least, dude. Still 100%. I can sell the Shen for the extra eco. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Nar's also a wild shapeshifter, which is why the shapeshifter wild thing is just such a nice fit. We can actually grab Rengar here for the extra wild if we want, uh, or the Ari. Or I could just go for an item like a recurve bow. Think I'm gonna go for the. Think I'm gonna go for the BF, or the mana. Uh, cause everything else is gone. Or the nearly large rod for our Rabadons. Okay, BF sword because everything else is taken. Or a tier. Could have gone tier. Honestly, I'm shapeshifter. Transformations are good. Mana is good, but BF is fine. BF plus tier is Spear of Shojin. You don't need Spear of Shojin on these guys, shapeshifters, because they don't alt more than once. So that's a thing. But we can make a Hextech Gunblade. We can also make the GA. So in a second, I'm going to be full committing and selling off these guys. Because in four rounds, I'm going to have another unit to put in. That's better, uh, like a shapeshifter. one v one me! Eco. Extra gold. Wild LUL Big meme with delusion by the way I was just joking but it is funny that that is a thing We can also do this For the wild synergy there um, It's like the same It's the same thing It's just if you want Ari or Gunslingers Or if you think Gunslingers better than wild I don't, I don't really care it don't matter. Dude, look at Elise pop off, dude. Yeah, maybe I will give her... tank item with mana so she can actually transform and go off uh, we got the wild we got the, the shapeshifter we got rid of the Cassidin. Um. okay there we go So again, I could put the lifesteal on her right now, the Hextech Gunblade. 
Not sure yet. Seems like it'd be pretty good. So that gives me both Zeke's Herald and Morello Namicon. They don't. The, the Morello doesn't work on Elise. Zeke's does. Zeke's does work. I'm gonna sell the Vin for money so that I can still eco. Wild shapeshifter. I haven't even hit the hit the third shapeshifter. I'm actually getting pretty fucking unlucky, and I'm still doing okay. Beautiful. So it buffs what one other person? Allies with the sa within the same row. Oh. Wow. You put everything on the same row with a Zeke's Herald? And you just go uh, big, big boy? Big, big boy? Okay, let's do it. Fuck it, dude. Look, did you see that? Holy shit, it covers five. That's disgusting. There we go. Uh, five units. Yeah. Sure. Damn! Compromise posi positioning for five man Zeke's Herald? Hell fucking yes. Oh, even better, you put them in the back line, so they have to walk up. So the melees will go forward and the range will stay in the back. Dude, I want more Elises and Nidalees. Fuck yeah. Yeah. More. I got four wild. I put it in. It's kind of memes. I might lose. But it's funny. Dude, my Elise just died mid transformation. Did you see the spiders appear and then instantly die? That was pretty good. I like to see that. Okay, item. There's a spatula. We need recurve bows. So, Recurve Bow will give me the unlock of Attack Speed. Not sure what I'm making yet. Like Recurve Bow though, it's good shit. We can give a Ginsu's to my to my Elise as an example. Okay. Uh cool. We're gonna level because if I hit an extra shapeshifter, um I can I can put it in and get the extra shapeshifter bonus and which would be way better than this. Shit I'm doing right now. So the attack speed of Elise 
and she's dead. We got the shapeshifter. So I could break the wild combo or the extra. The extra Elise. I think the extra Elise is worse. Um. Okay. Should be good. And we can start re-rolling for the things we want right now. So it only buffs five the Zeke's Herald in a row. Huh. This guy also has wild shapeshifter. My Elise. The Elise. The Elise! Dude, the Elise is so insane! Dude, it has built-in lifesteal. Oh my god, it's so good. What is that shit? Oh my god. I'm in love. Oh my god. Up gr 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 grades. Say it with me. One more. Oh my god, dude. So many upgrades. It's insane. Uh, so yeah, this is where I could now put Warwick in the front row. Skip a space. And then have the five row, because now I know at least the Zeke's can only buff up two things. So this item combination with Nia's the Large Rod and that makes a Morello Namicon. Um, but anyways, like I said, move these back. Put him in the front. Morello. Who wants a Morello here? Probably Swin. Need more units. Unit space. Or I need to start like getting rid of the lower tier shapeshifters or something or the I don't know. I need more units. That's what it is. I need to level. Dude, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the, the unkillable Elise. <laughs> dude, this this shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Let's start leveling. This is great. Every game I'm having so much fun. I did the assassins. I did the blade masters. I've done it all, dude. This shit's so great. Haven't even played sorcerers yet. There's just so much shit to do. Demon and the other one looked really interesting because I noticed something that I hadn't noticed before that you could get like demon very early. It's not that bad. They would destroy some people's comps entirely that rely on early ultimates. Or shapeshifters. You just leech them over and over. Give me that, give me that mana. Yoink, and then true damage. Look at this Elise. Still going. She's still kicking. She's dead as fuck. This guy's got the gunslingers and the pirates. Looks like my last game. And he's got the curse blade on the Triss. But it's actually working for him. Because he's got all the Triss on his tray, as you see. And he's saving at the same time. So he's gotten a lot more lucky than I did last game. But that's okay. You know, the shit happens, man. Fuck it. Get a two-star shiv, two-star Ari, level up.
we also get to put in an Elise. So there we can now put the... Whoops. Yeah! Sure. I think I should put the Nidalee in the front and put the Elise in the side. But that's that's just figuring it out. Okay, Cursed Blade again on a Trist with a Runins. For this dude, only has w level 1 Trist. You see, he's made a mistake. Um, but all my shit is de-leveled because Cursed Blade and... Wow, it's so fucking broken when it actually procs. This guy's a 3-star Elise. In his pirate gunslinger comp. That's annoying. So we could grab spatulas and recurve bows. Spatula on an Anivia over there. It's pretty good. So I guess I have to make my stuff a lot stronger right now or I'm dead. Yeah. I was having so much fun and then I look at my health and I'm almost dead guys. Shapeshifter? Question mark? It was probably when I sacked like 70 HP. Okay. Wait, so my whole team is level 2 Or 2 starred? Okay. Good, good. Yep. Wild shapeshifter has appeared. Pull out the Warwick for the for the Nidalee. What the hell is going on? Feels like my shit was doing zero damage. Well, we lost that one too. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next placement game. Uh, shapeshifters seemed extremely underwhelming because they do absolutely zero damage. Wild still seems bad. Um, they just kind of fell off a truck. I look at everything I did. I had good eco. I re-rolled pretty hard. I looked for the things. I had all the two stars. There were a lot of level ones I'm noticing, like Warwick and Nidalee and Elise. So, like, how do you scale the wild shapeshifter into a later comp without hitting the swin? I don't know. Well, see you guys in the next one.